Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your a weekly singles love reading for Taurus. How are you guys, Taurus? Taurus singles. What is it Taurus singles need to know? So I'm going to focus on, I'm going to ask the questions, your next uh, serious relationship, what you need to know, who the person may be. Taurus singles your next oops, there we go okay ten of pentacles so it looks like financial stability it's celebrating some kind of achievement okay wow this could be a partnership yeah and i can see the king of swords and the three of pentacles and ooh, the ace of cups now this could be yourself could be another person so i'm just going to read it as incoming okay the person coming towards you what you need to know they don't have to be um uh, gemini libra aquarius okay or they could have it in their chart but it's an energy so this is someone very wise definitely financially stable now, this is a person who uh, trusts in their own ability to make a strategic decision. And it has to do with cooperation, compromise, but it has to do with going down this path with somebody who's compatible. You see, it's an energy of two people who build each other up, look out for each other. Okay, uh, definitely it's an energy of partnering up. This is someone who's obviously doing some thinking, you know, someone who's wise, and they're analyzing a situation, very analytical, very logical, you see. <laughs> you know they want to start something you have somebody here wanting to start it's welcoming new love this person's thinking about this okay this new love this new opportunity having a fresh new start beautiful it could be an invitation oh you've got a king of wands here wow you could have a couple people it's possible but it could be this person's energy as well someone who's strategizing this is someone who generally knows what they want this is definitely somebody with a sense of pride i am successful in all i do so this is somebody who definitely uh, wants uh, to be successful they want a partner okay someone they can count on and rely on so they're analyzing and doing some thinking here you know, about this opportunity Ooh. Yeah, so this is energy of the Four of Cups. In this deck, is the someone who listens to their heart and follows their knowing. See, someone who's been analyzing. Very wise, very smart, likely a very good communicator too. Someone who's not afraid to go after what they want. Okay, they could be Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio energy. Uh, but I really would just focus on the energies here more than anything. Don't assume this person who may come towards you is any of these signs, okay? So I, it's a person who's definitely, you know, the Four of Cups energy. Somebody who doesn't want to miss this opportunity because I feel they're looking right at this opportunity. You see, they want to start something, but I feel they're logical. Yeah, they're listening to their heart, following their knowing, everything they need to know. Tell me about, I feel they're looking, it's funny because they're looking at the Ten of Pentacles, which I feel is connected to this. I'm successful in all they do. Someone who's stable financially. Yeah. Nice. See, look at that incoming. You may have multiple opportunities too, by the way. This is somebody who definitely has, uh, comes in pretty fast, pretty fiery. Uh, some of you have, uh, I feel it has an energy of somebody here who's moved away from something. Okay, they're coming in, but it looks like you may have multiple opportunities. I see a busy time, things speeding up. Uh, I feel like this is someone who's in a hurry. They don't want to miss an opportunity because I feel like you're going to meet this person and they're going to get right up into their head. <laughs> they think about how to communicate. They like to talk. I can tell you that. They like to talk about the things they create, the things they're proud of. Uh, their passions are definitely a person with a lot of creativity. See, they're looking for someone kind of similar to themselves, possibly similar lifestyle. You know, it's about partnering up. They want a stable partner as well. So let's have a look. Tell me about the King of Swords. We'll see if this is one person's energy or two. Yeah, so I do see communication, King and Queen of Swords. So it's at both people being discerning, questioning, making sure you're right, you're compatible. I do see communication being really good. A lot of talking. <laughs> a lot of talk back and forth here. Kind of question each other, being wise, analyzing. 
Yeah, Queen of Swords energy. This could be yourself here. Could be someone giving advice as well. So you may be getting advice from other people too, making sure you're compatible, that you both want the same things. Uh, I definitely see the energy of creativity because we know that King of Wands is creative. But I really see as two people talking, communicating quite well here. Uh, two people trusting in their own decision, that in the decisions they're about to make. So we have three of pentacles. Yeah, we have an emperor energy, and this one wants to come out. So we have an emperor. Ah, okay. We have two people. And, ooh, mastering life. So someone who's mastered life here. This is a person who has all the tools. They have everything they need. They're looking for a partner, someone they can count on. Uh, but I feel there's going to be talk to people sharing their cups here, drinking from each other's cup. As you manifest, having all the tools, the information, you're both being really wise here. You're manifesting this. So you're likely going to connect with this person. It's likely something that'll happen suddenly. You'll meet this person just out of the blue somewhere, maybe at a social event. Okay. Could be through a boss, somebody you work with, but it could be in a place of business where people, you know, congregate and hang out where they spend money. Uh, it's likely how it's going to happen. It could be, you know, like I say, um, where this person just strikes up a conversation. I see a couple very chatty people here who like to talk. Okay, not afraid to share the cup, share the feelings. This could be a soulmate, you know. It's also an energy of being wise, maybe just being friends first a little bit here. But we also have the emperor. The emperor is someone who generally knows exactly what they want. But I feel it has to do with this person's status, okay. But it has to do with compatibility. There's definitely energy of two people needing to cooperate and compromise. I feel there's some things that you won't compromise. Some things maybe they won't. <laughs> but it has to do with working together. It's about building each other up. Okay? And going down this path. It's about team, a teamwork. Both people looking for a team player. So Ace of Cups, yeah, so we have a little Taurus energy there, yeah. See, this is how someone conducts themselves. It's about having faith, okay? It's about commitment. It has to do with making some kind of an agreement. I feel like you're going to have some kind of uh, an agreement here, okay? Some of you definitely could have a couple opportunities. You're going to make a choice, but I feel it has to do with manifesting, mirroring. You want someone who's like yourself, that mirror image. I, I feel it's going to have a lot to do with how you communicate with the Mercury energy there. As you question and manifest this energy, having the tools, gathering information, everything you need to know. Yeah, and I feel also with the Hierophant here, it has to do with having faith. Okay, this is some uh, two people having faith in each other, having faith in making decisions. I feel like you'll make the decisions yourselves uh, to connect. Okay, there's definitely a connection. Probably friends first a little bit here, but it has to do with how you both conduct yourselves, your day-to-day -day lives, your habits. So I do see some kind of an agreement. Okay, making some kind of an agreement here. Yeah, it could be to do with uh, just committing to this path, making the commitment, you see, and having faith in each other. Uh, to communicate see it's gonna the communication is going to be just fantastic okay with this person i feel like you just both like to talk a lot uh, i see a lot of passion uh, in the things that you do both of you uh, both of you have an energy of been there done that this is why i feel like you're being both being discerning you're being wise and logical you've learned you see nice i love this <laughs> Uh, there's that financial foundation, a house, a home. See, it's committing. This is, could turn out to be a committed relationship, a fresh new start opportunity. I, I do see it starting off with an invitation. Okay. This person's going to show you, I feel, their lifestyle, how they live, probably vice versa. But I see this foundation being built, being friends first. See, building that foundation. Beautiful. Yeah, King of Wands, Confirmation, Aries, Leo, Sag, uh, Scorpio, possibly even. Little Gemini, Virgo energy, possibly with that uh, Magician energy. I'm definitely sensing a lot of fire and air here. Uh, it's probably just, the, you know, your energies when you're first connecting. Uh, but I can see this person looking at this, see? The reason to celebrate this is somebody who knows exactly what they want. They're not afraid to go for it, but they're being wise about it. They're analyzing. Every time you talk, you're analyzing what each other says. <laughs> Very analytical. Yeah, it has to do with choosing the one. This could be the one. 
you see, is focused on the wand. You know, this is definitely someone who's quite attractive. I feel there's going to be a physical attraction here, but I feel like you're going to be friends first. Okay, so it's going to start out with friends. I don't think this friend thing is going to stay in that energy for very long, though, because I see the way you live your lives, the way you conduct yourselves. A couple of home bodies, maybe you like home, possibly. Uh, but I definitely see the financial foundation being um, very important in a happy home and a happy life. Yeah, both wanting the same things. I feel like you're going to be on the same page. You're certainly going to make sure of it. So never be afraid to speak up and ask questions. Lovely. Yeah, see, asking questions, taking the time to get to know someone. Some of you may feel like you may need to speak up and say, I need a little more time to get to know you. Let's just be friends first. They could be somebody from another community. Uh, travel, uh, relocation could be part of it. Uh, but I do feel it's taking a little more time to get to know each other, okay? Maybe before you move in together too, like I can see this uh, connection, you know. Uh, but I feel there's a lot of wisdom. Both of you have this wisdom. You've learned a lot of lessons from the past, see? You're manifesting. Uh, taking the lessons you've learned to manifest this new. This person definitely doesn't want to miss this opportunity. So someone who does not want to miss this opportunity. This could be the one. This is how that, uh, the, you could be moving away from a king of swords. Okay. And moving towards a king of wands. But the emperor is here. So if you've had someone who wouldn't cooperate and compromise in the past, it's possibly that's what you're moving away from. It's just a matter of sometimes people just aren't compatible. You know, lifestyles, the way you live. If you have someone here who likes to travel, you know, um, it, it's a, I feel there's just going to be a lot of talk at first. Lots and lots of talking. <laughs> Tell me about the Four of Cups. Yeah, see, this could be successful. This is energy of someone who's very determined. You see, some of you are moving away from somebody who is overbearing and controlling, moving towards somebody else. That's what I kind of feel here. Or you have multiple opportunities and you're going to make a decision. You likely move away to avoid a disaster with someone if you feel they're a little too controlling or a little too domineering. Um, you know, somebody, it's about control. So it's an energy also about not trying to control anything. Okay. It's not letting your emotions rule you. Two people try not to let their emotions rule you. But I actually feel this is someone who doesn't want to miss this opportunity. Now, they're coming in. They want this to be successful. This is a person who's very determined that it is. This is why the person who's determined um, to have success, because they, this is somebody who I feel wants commitment. You see, they want that real partner. They even could be a business owner, uh, maybe even somebody self-made. Um, whatever the situation but uh, I you know it could be a whole lot of things but I feel it's going to happen fairly qu suddenly it's just going to happen where you meet them in fact you may meet two people around the same time so if you have to make a choice I feel like you're going to move towards this uh, king of wands energy this person's definitely determined okay they don't want to miss this opportunity you see, they don't want to miss this. This could be the one. So they're, this is someone who's willing. They have the tools, the information, very good at communicating. They're not afraid to communicate what it is they want, how they feel. So that's beautiful. I feel that's going to be really good between you. Okay. But they're willing to cooperate and compromise. But it's both of you are going to have to cooperate and compromise on some things, especially if you know, you're at a distance or you have to relocate. Okay. So pretty interesting energy. This is definitely someone who will do things in the traditional manner. Okay. I can see it doing things in a traditional manner here. You know, dating and courting a little bit. Friends first. Hanging out. You know, doing things together. Yeah. See, it has to do with the victory, the sword. This person definitely wants success. You know, win or lose, this person's definitely uh, going to go for this. So this is likely the person coming in. I like that. I like the fact that this person's not ruled by their emotions. They're logical, you see. They want success. They see this as being a victory. And this is definitely someone who I feel has integrity. I feel they speak the truth. I feel they're, and could be very educated too. It could be someone who has a really good education. But I feel it's both of you kind of learning about each other, teaching each other what you like, what you don't like. Uh, and being willing to cooperate and compromise. I feel this is lovely, okay? Really nice, yeah, there it is. 
<laughs> they could have Leo in their chart or they just have that energy. Very high vibrational, very positive. Uh, this person's definitely someone who will do everything they can to make you happy. Uh, vice versa, it takes two. <laughs> Wow, so this is your next serious relationship. I would have to say um, six days, six weeks, six months, okay, before you meet this person. If you've already met them, do take the time to get to know them, okay? Take the lessons you've learned from the past, apply them to this situation. I feel like you're both going to. You know, just take time to get to know each other, just moving forward calmly and peacefully. If you've moved away from someone here who isn't right for you or isn't your type, and that could be when it happens. Okay, could happen if you're moving a business, relocating, changing jobs as well. So yeah, see it's energy of moving on, but it's also energy of going with the flow, seeing what happens, letting things evolve, the abundance, this energy of change, you see? This is lovely. So change is coming. If you are, like I said, if you've got multiple opportunities coming in, you may move away from one person. Okay, if you have somebody, could be a person that you've known before coming back around. But quite honestly, I feel like you're going for the new. So this is your next serious relationship. I feel they're very charming. I feel they're attractive, probably very fit, quite you know, mas very masculine energy. Uh, I feel this is somebody who's definitely very creative around the house and the home. I feel they're educated. They're wise. They're offering you this cup. You see, they don't want to see. This is someone who doesn't want to miss this opportunity. This isn't someone who's failed to miss one. This is someone who doesn't want to miss this one. <laughs> so they're going to start it. Win or lose, this is somebody who will start it. Okay. Yeah, they will come in. So lovely. Yeah, there it is. A lot of happiness. Someone who will put their cups on the table. You see, they're not afraid of putting themselves out there, not afraid of being emotional. Uh, I see a happy home, happy life here with this person. This is someone who will do what, everything they can to make you happy. Uh, I feel they're quite generous as well. Someone who's ready, ready for a commitment, fresh new start. So you've got this opportunity. It's likely going to start out with an invitation. Okay. I feel this is someone who's faithful. I do. I actually feel this is someone who's very faithful, loyal uh, energy, which a lot of times I know people look at the King of Wands as like, no, no, no. Uh, there's people who aren't faithful in every sign, okay? Uh, every single sign. It, it, it really has to do with the person. Uh, I feel this is somebody who, yeah, I feel like you have similar lifestyles, but I do see an agreement, okay? Starting things off, starting off fresh, it's possible too. You may need to relocate. You may buy a home together and start off fresh. You may even do a prenup, make some kind of an agreement. Okay. Yeah. Tell me more about the Ace of Wands. Yeah. See, it's energy of waiting. See, this is somebody here who's been waiting, waiting for the one. Uh, so look at that. So it's somebody who's definitely, it looks like they've left something behind, but this is somebody who will definitely, I do see this is, if you are, this, if you've been waiting for someone, this is what you're waiting for. Okay. This is what's coming. Look at the positive energy. But this is definitely somebody who will wait. Okay, before taking things to that next level, I feel this person's definitely got that energy of being uh, sincere, loyal. Okay, they see you as the one. You can see that energy there, Taurus, <laughs> marriage material. <laughs> yeah, but this is a lot to do with this person. I just see you questioning, talking, communicating a lot with this person. Now, I don't know if you go into their place of business and you chat all the time. There may be some, maybe you know who they are. And you chat with this person, all of a sudden there's some kind of change between the two of you, you know, where you become friends or you decide to connect. This person definitely sees this as being successful, you see. They want this, I can tell you that. Something they've been waiting for, waiting for the one. Is this the one, see? A lot of, lot of Leo energy. Um, but it could be just their energy, very confident, taming the beast. See, this person's not afraid to wait, you see. They're confident. Uh, mature you see they've tamed to that beast within themselves so this is why i feel like they're connected to the emperor okay they've learned they've mastered life they've learned they've learned the skill of communication um they're they've learned the skill of being patient taming the beast they're confident so 
this person's oh yeah see it has to do with this person will definitely they're confident enough they don't feel that they need to rush towards the physical they're happy just being friends for a while as you learn about each other as you grow closer i feel like you're going to grow close with this person there's going to be this change where you just grow closer okay so there's this beautiful bond going to form see it's just both of you two people yeah there's definitely chemistry here i feel there's going to be chemistry a lovely connection they don't have to be a fire sign like i i see gemini here too maybe a gemini um it could be a gemini taurus cusp or a virgo uh, with some fire in their chart um, definitely there's cancer here yeah it's hard to say a lot of leo though which is the energy of somebody with a lot of confidence definitely a sense of pride very masculine energy but it's somebody who's been waiting for love, waiting for the one. I feel this could definitely be the one. <laughs> so there you go. All right. This is your next serious relationship. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling, you know, six months, eight months, maybe. If you have met them, it almost looks like some of you have connected and talked to this person already. So like I say, there could be some kind of change between you and someone. Maybe it's a friend who wants to take things to the next level. They may be... Uh, you may start talking and have some kind of a conversation uh, here so yeah there's definitely a few scenarios there on how it gets started but it's something that kind of happens out of the blue a lot of passion a lot of fire now it is possible the person you connect to may need to relocate for work so there could be some change there okay after you meet this person so there could be a need to cooperate there compromise but i just see two people building each other up something is building between you and this person uh, and i feel what's being recognized uh, um, where this person doesn't want to miss this opportunity whoever they are is that you're compatible that you connect okay on that emotional level so there's that emotional connection right there so lovely take care i wish you the best and bye for now